Libra. You need to know this right now for July the 7th through July the 8th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Libra for July the 7th through July the 8th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Libra for July the 7th through July the 8th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Libra for July the 7th through July the 8th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. Libra, you need to repent and get your life together. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Libra, these are your cards, honey. So, Libra, you have the Eight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling stuck. Like you're in a self-imposed prison of your thoughts. This is you feeling like you can't move, but you can move because it's all mental. This is you refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, blocked communication. This is you feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So Libra, you can tell me that you're feeling stuck in a situation or there's blocked communication. Clarify the Eight of Swords for Libra. Clarify the Eight of Swords for Libra. Clarify the Eight of Swords for Libra. It is clarified with the Four of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. There's an offer on the table that you're not accepting or rejecting. You're contemplating this offer, but actually you're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of you contemplating sending an offer, but you fear that the offer will be rejected. So Libra, very well could be an offer coming into you that you're thinking about missing. However, you could be contemplating sending an offer. You just have this fear it won't be accepted. Now, Libra, listen, this offer could be coming into you and you're stuck on whether or not you want it or not, maybe leaning towards not wanting it. Libra, you can tell me that this offer is coming into you and you're just blocking them. You don't want the offer. Libra, you could also tell me that you're wanting to come in with this offer, but you're stuck. You have this fear it won't be accepted or you're wanting to come in with this offer and you're finding out that they're blocking you or maybe ignoring you. Libra, you have the nine of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you being anxious, worried, stressed, replaying things over and over in your mind, losing sleep at night, worried about something. So Libra, you're all up in your head, stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here. Clarify the nine of swords for Libra. Clarify the nine of swords. For Libra, clarify the nine of swords. For Libra, it is clarified with the six of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance, but this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So Libra, you can tell me that something is off balance here. Something could be off balance with the giving and receiving. You may be giving something here, receiving something here, or you're telling me that someone was giving more somewhere else giving to two. Now Libra, listen, you can tell me that you're all up in your head about giving someone something here. You can tell me that you're in your head about receiving something here because maybe you feel like you're being shortchanged, but you are you don't want it, but you're maybe stuck in a situation where you have to take it anyway. Hmm. Libra, you can tell me the reason why you don't even want their cup, that you're blocking them is because they were giving more somewhere else giving to two here. But I don't know if this is like a giving and receiving thing. 
Libra, you have the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. But it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted here. So Libra, you're telling me that everything has come to a screeching halt? Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. For Libra, clarify the Knight of Pentacles. For Libra, clarify the Knight of Pentacles. For Libra, it is clarified with the Two of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling, and this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I, will I, won't I? This can be you managing many things at once, weighing up the pros and the cons, or juggling two relationships. So Libra, listen, you can tell me that something that you're weighing things up trying to decide, should you, shouldn't you? Or you're telling me that juggling has taken place here. Now you can tell me because practicality has slowed down tremendously and someone's trying to give you something but you're feeling shortchanged, you're debating on should you, shouldn't you, you're stuck on whether or not you should accept it. Or Libra, you're telling me that really practicality has slowed down tremendously and you're debating on whether to give here okay hmm, maybe stuck on whether or not you want to even give uh, libra you could also tell me that you guys are stagnant because someone was juggling they were giving more someone else giving to two and so you don't want to hear anything libra you have the tower the tower is aries and scorpio's energy this is something that you don't see coming something that catches you completely off guard something that just rocks the foundation of you guys relationship this is a shock in our moment a moment of revelation now this can be a shocking shake up or break up so libra very well could be a shocking surprise shocking revelation something being revealed or a breakup clarify the tower for Libra, clarify the tower. For Libra, clarify the tower. For Libra, it is clarified with the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone more Earth prominent in their chart. However, when we're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. Queen of Pentacles is a nurturing, mothering energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with, or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. For Libra, clarify the Queen of Pentacles. For Libra, clarify the Queen of Pentacles. For Libra, it is clarified with the Page of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produced because there's a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. Now, you could be receiving love messages and an apology. You could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there's a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups. For Libra, clarify the page of cups. For Libra, clarify the page of cups. For Libra... It is clarified with the Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus, but the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. So Libra could be dealing with a Taurus. You guys may be in a commitment. Someone may have commitment on the brain here. This can be about forgiveness. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, religious differences, or values. 
Clarify the Hierophant. For Libra. Clarify the Hierophant. For Libra. Clarify the Hierophant. For Libra. It is clarified with the Nine of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being guarded and standing your ground. You have a stance. You meant what you said. You said what you meant. You're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, out of outward anything. But this is also a card of you saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of you having your walls up, your guards up. You're not trusting, a little suspicious, a little paranoid. So Libra, listen, you can tell me that you're highly suspicious. You have your guard up, you don't trust. You can tell me that you're guarding something. You can tell me that you're going to be persistent or you're standing your ground. Now Libra, listen, you know, it could be some type of shocking good news coming in from some type of institution, organization, governmental agency, but you're a little guarded or suspicious or hesitant here. And I don't know, maybe it's because it's, you're still being shortchanged here or something is just not balanced with it. Something is just off balance. Libra, you can tell me that you're shocked that they're coming in trying to romance you, speaking on commitment here, and you're a little hesitant because this can be bling, bling, shiny thing that they're thinking about giving you. And you're just like stuck and maybe debating it in your head about it. Libra, you can tell me and you guys it's already established commitment that you found love messages and heard the news of them sharing love and this caused a shocking shakeup or a breakup and you have your guard up against this person. And they could be trying to apologize, but you're like, uh, no. Libra, you have the Ten of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. Something is difficult. Something is heavy. Something feels like a lot of work. Something feels like the weight of the world on your shoulders. Something is a burden here for you. Now, this is a 10, so this is an ending. This is you wanting to release a burden. So, Libra, you're telling me you're having a difficult time. Something is burdensome, and you're just wanting to release it. Clarify the 10 of Wands. For Libra, clarify the 10 of Wands. For Libra, clarify the 10 of Wands. For Libra. It is clarified with the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using a male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So Libra, listen, you can tell me there's a rush to do something. Could be a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Clarify the Knight of Wands. For Libra, clarify the Knight of Wands. For Libra, clarify the Knight of Wands. For Libra. It is clarified with the Ace of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into you. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value, brand new practical beginnings. So Libra, listen, some type of opportunity of practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date or commitment. You know, Libra, I feel like you're burdened by the fact that someone's trying to rush you into this offer of practicality. Now, it could be just, you know, family or friends, but it could also be dealing with some type of institution, organization, governmental agency that is like rushing you with this offer, but you feel like it's not right, like you don't, okay? Libra, it could also be a rush of commitment here, you know? Someone may have commitment on the brain, you're a little hesitant, you wanna take your time, you're debating, you're stuck you're in your head about it, on whether or not you want to accept this. I feel like someone's putting a rush on you into some form of commitment, okay? Dealing with someone else's practicality that they may be giving to you, dealing with some type of institution, loan agency, or whatever that they'll be giving this to you, <laughs> or uh, offer for commitment here, 
okay? I'm going to take a look at the Twin Flames Exposed for you and your partner, Libra. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. And it says, why can't I get over you? It's driving me crazy. Why can't I get over you? It's driving me crazy. I'm going to also take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you and your partner, Libra. And it says, I lost myself for a little while. I lost myself for a little while. Libra, you need to know this right now for July the 7th through July the 8th, 2024. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.